Hey y'all, it's Emily. Okay, so for a video today, I did my foundation routine. Um, if you guys want to see how I do my foundation every day and contouring and blush and highlight and things like that and the products that I use, keep on watching. I'm going to list um, all the products that I use in the down bar in case you miss it as you're watching the video and you don't want to like go back and watch it all over again. Um, but anyways, I hope that this helps you guys. Um, if you have any questions, just message me on Facebook, Twitter, on here. Leave a comment and subscribe if you like it. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay, um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started with my foundation routine. Um, I've already primed my face with the Estee Lauder Pore Minimizer. Um, I do that after I wash my face and put on my moisturizer and stuff like that. So I'm using the Revlon Color Stay makeup. My shade is 200 Nude. Um, I always do this with clean hands and a clean face. You never want to wash your face in the morning and then put your foundation on at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon because then like by that time your face is like oily and has bacteria and stuff. So I just put it like on the back of my hand like this and since it's just on me, I put it on with my hands just because a stippling brush takes too long to do on a daily basis and I don't like the way that foundation brushes um, it's like pretty much like a paintbrush you know and it'll leave um, like streaks to where you can see like where you applied the makeup and like where the bristles went so I just put this all over my face I'm really liking this foundation it's been around for a really long time I just started using it um, I'm used to using like um, not as full coverage, but I tried it out and I really like it. The only thing is it's like you really need to wash your face before you go to bed at night. Like if you don't, you will break out just because it's so heavy. It's like your skin can't really breathe through it, but you're getting really good coverage and it doesn't look cakey on the skin. I just put some on my chin so I don't get a makeup line because trust me people will tell you if you have a makeup line when um, I first found out that I was pregnant I quit tanning obviously and well I hadn't like gotten around to buying new makeup yet and I promise you like every time I went out somebody was like you have a makeup line like complete and total strangers so yeah I don't notice when people have makeup lines I, I don't know I may be the only person in the world walking around with a makeup line I don't know but yeah people will notice and they will tell you I don't notice them on other people but you know what else I went ahead and I put my um, eye makeup on first today just because I didn't want like my second video to be looking like a complete and total like mutant on the camera you know I wanted to look semi normal okay so now that that's on, next up is concealer. I'm going to be using the Mineral Power um, Maybelline Concealer in Ivory. It's like the lightest shade that they have, I think. And what I do is I just put three dots on that side, three dots on this side. And then take like my ring finger and do like a, a triangle shape right here. And that helps just to brighten up your face a lot. I know that like you guys have seen this before. You probably didn't know what it was from. Have you ever noticed on the Kardashians? They do it like their makeup artist does it super bright. Like their concealer is pretty much like four shades lighter than their face, which I don't know about all that. It looks like white out on their face. But that's what they're doing is they're trying to brighten up the face right here. And you go in this triangular section right here right underneath the eye and up to your nose okay now that my concealer's on um, I definitely want to set this foundation with a powder because it's really like dewy so what powder I'm going to be using is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Mineral Powder 
Um, this is in buff 30. I could probably use a shade a little bit darker than this, but or a little bit lighter than this, but I, I just haven't repurchased it yet. Okay, and then this is the SS 187 brush from Sigma. This is like a stippling brush. Um, I know that some people like to use a denser brush, but the reason that I use this is because when I put the powder on my face, it doesn't look like like you can't see the powder. It's not just sitting on my face. This doesn't pick up as much powder, as much product. And so it kind of just sets it really pretty, but doesn't, um, you can't like see my face and think like, oh my gosh, she just put powder all over her face. And I feel like sometimes when you get a brush, like too dense of a brush that picks up too much product, you can just see the powder sitting there. So I really like to use this stippling brush. And this is what I was talking about, about the foundation. Some people put their foundation on with this, but I like using my hands better, honestly. And I just stipple it on first, and that's going to give you fuller coverage. And then I swirl it just to blend it. I cleaned my brush last night, and so that's why little tiny black hairs are falling out. Okay. Sorry, my mirror is like behind the camera, obviously. So, that's where I'm looking. Okay. Now I just gotta get those off my face. Okay. Next, I'm going to be using bronzer, and this is to contour my face. I'm using the Physician's Formula. This is like the um, Cashmere Weave Ultra Smoothing Bronzer, and it looks like this. It looks like sweater material, and there's like a gold highlight band. Okay, I'm just going to be using this big fluffy brush from Sigma, and you put it up by your temples, right up here. Just blend it. I know my hair is getting like all in that. I usually do my makeup in between blow drying my hair and actually styling it, but I just went ahead and did my hair just for the video so you guys aren't like, ugh, what is that on the screen? Okay, so up by your temples and then right here at your cheekbones and this just contours um, anywhere that you put darker makeup on your face it's gonna like hide it it's gonna bring it in and then anywhere where you put lighter makeup on your face it's gonna bring it out so this just makes your face look skinnier and you're pretty much giving yourself a cheekbone because I don't know about you but mine are missing and I have to create them because I don't have them on my own The reason I don't use an actual contouring brush is I find that it leaves a streak on your face and as long as you're careful with this, um, it won't leave a streak on your, like it won't look too big, like you can put it in the right section, um, but I just feel like with like a small angled contouring brush you can just see where that's aligned and you guys don't want people to know that you're giving yourself cheekbones. I just put this under my neck on my jawline right here. Okay, and then on the sides of your nose, and this just gives your nose more of that defined shape that makes it look skinnier, more sculpted, and better. Okay, and then, okay, next is blush. I'm just going to be using this MAC blush. It's style. It's like a corally color. It's kind of summer-like, but I don't know. Whatever. And then this, this is like an angled contouring brush, and I use this as a blush brush. Um, I put my blush on the backs of my cheeks and not right on the apples because I feel like I look like a little girl 
if it's right on my apples I don't know and this helps to contour and make yourself look like you have cheekbones if you go back and not like right here a circle on your cheek you know okay lastly I'm gonna do a highlight I'm just using this dense kabuki to style flat top brush from Pure Cosmetics. Um, I got it at Ulta when I got some of their makeup. And then as a highlight, I'm using this Estee Lauder Gold Pearl. And it's kind of like a pinky color with gold shimmer in it. And I put that down the edge of my nose and on the highest point of my cheeks. And this just adds like a really dewy, natural like youthful look and it you put it right here because that's like where the sun would hit you so you just look shimmery and beautiful in the day and you can use like a eyeshadow like a really light like an eyeshadow that you would put up on your brow bone you can use that as well as a highlight okay and then lastly I just got to put on my mascara because I didn't do it 